I want to talk to you a little bit about today about self-defense in Canadian law. <clears throat> we are entitled to defend ourselves from attack or, th or imminent threat, and that is a defense. The Crown has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you are not acting in self-defense. The laws of self-defense were extremely complicated in previous years. We had multiple sections of the criminal code, which were probably only understood uh, by judges and criminal lawyers. Juries were really confused by this. So Parliament redrafted the sections to make them much clearer and cleaner so that we can understand. And the bottom line is this, if you are attacked, if you're assaulted by someone, or you reasonably apprehend that you're being assaulted, by someone who's about to hit you, you are entitled to act reasonably in the circumstances to protect yourself, to defend yourself. That's the bottom line. And these sections have been crafted in such a way now that juror members can understand them. The jury or the judge then has to look at a whole host of factors like the relative size, gender, weight, you know, your role as the accused in the circumstances, did you provoke it? All sorts of issues have to be looked at. But the bottom line is we can now understand much more clearer. You don't have to have a thesis in criminal law or a law degree now in criminal law to understand what self-defense means in Canada. A client comes into my office and says, look, I was defending myself from this action, whether they're charged with murder, aggravated assault, assault, body harm, or assault. We have to analyze what their odds of winning, present them in the best light, and show that the other person was the aggressor, aggressor and that this person acted reasonably. If we can create that reasonable doubt, we can win the case. And the bottom line with an assault charge, if it's your word against someone else's, and you are a person who's credible and reliable, you come across that way, you can often win. Because again, the burden's in your favor, the scales of justice are not evenly weighted. The Crown has to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. So in other words, they have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you are not acting in self-defense. Difficult burden. Are you sure? So that's, in a nutshell, a simplified version of the law of self-defense.